welcome back to Let's Play Thief. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, we're still in Moira Asylum. <coughs> Shit. I'm not a fan. Nope. I want nothing to do with that. <sighs> oh, okay. I get it. <sighs> History 3. At 8.25, uh, later on in the month, and RY-689. And yet Moira Asylum is not without its share of troubles. Battered by the constant to and fro of coastal winds, it has a melancholy and beleaguered atmosphere not common to the more grounded buildings of the city. Nor does it want for draughts and other embellishments. Her staff are both courteous and cheerful, despite their conditions, for which they are to be commended. Most startling yet, however is the fertile soil of the asylum's island, which have, within which have been sown the many seeds of wildflowers no longer common to the more civilized surroundings to which we have become accustomed. Ah, tasty. Well, no, not really. It's water, but, you know, gets the job done. You know, every time I have to do that, I think about this scene... I saw from a game called Outlast, where you do something like that. And this giant dude pops up and pulls you out. Oh, Christ. Even the frame rate doesn't like this. Rimini, I was... Literally averting my eyes from the screen as he came out. Confidentiality. Passing beyond this point constitutes a strict confidentiality agreement. Experimental techniques remain the property of their respective owners. Anyone found copying the use of these techniques is liable for treason under the Medical Act of NRY 839. If you still exist on the physical plane, Aaron, you owe me a round. Just a fucking apology. Yep, that happened. Once floor. That wasn't even, like, all echoey or anything. That worries me. <coughs> what the fuck was that? I didn't even get a good look at it. Oh, don't you start! <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's our old friends, the Violins of Tension. You may remember we met them in uh, Dead Space 1. Nope. Fuck that. Wait. What was that doing there? 
<sighs> I push that button, I can turn on all the power and activate one of those fucking night wardens. Ditto. 3B electrotherapy chamber. It was 3F, I think. Yep. I didn't even need to check the documents for that. Fine. All dead. All dead, but the shadows, they were taken by the shadows. The shadows have been hungry since she went away. It changed down there. I really, really wish I was somewhere else right now. Hmm. There's gonna be like a bloody corpse or something up against the door. I don't know how that fucking works. Yes? I don't know where that came from. Oh, uh... What's up? These doors need power. There's probably a generator down here somewhere. No, I don't want to do that. Achievement unlocked. Quickly pick a lucky lock. Picked a lock with masterful speed. Huh. Not even hooked up. Great. Oh, extracting the primal. 622 NRY 841. The ritual to harness the primal suffered a terrible setback, but perhaps there is still hope. The energy merely entered a weaker vessel than the one intended. I cannot see how this was possible, but there must be a way to return it to the stone. Wait a minute. Baron Northcrest. Elevator lock, 1214 NRY 841. Oh, that's this Friday. Pete, I have a favor to ask of you. The elevator to Reformation is currently open access. Anyone can just waltz in and pay a visit to maximum security. I'd like you to install a locking mechanism. This isn't just for the safety of those in Reformation, but for the safety of our patients here in the asylum as well. What happens if enough Huntfield subjects get loose? The patients in the upper levels will be defenseless. Think about it. I'll get you whatever clearance you need. Eliza. Escape note. Avery, leave quietly. Ignore the oil and glass. They're for your protection. Light a torch and meet me at the docks. I don't know what they are, but if one of them sees you, set the bastard alight and run. I'll wait for you. T. Okay. 
Okay, this is happening. Okay, um... No, I can't think of a good reason to, uh... delay any longer. Alas. Must be the oil. Sensory deprivation. Doors that are remain closed at all times while room is occupied. Removal from the cares of the world is soothing for the soul. Oh, the generator room. Hmm. food just back there and it did kind of just get shot. Crazy monster men. Calibration. Calibrate machine carefully before commencing operation. Piercing the veil that masks the window to the soul can reveal the path to wellness. What the fuck does that mean? Transfer request. 79 NRY 841. I understand the inevitable concern, but I am forced to arrange for patient number 18 to be transferred below the, to the prison level. God, it's even further than this. I'm well aware that this is not standard procedure, but the subject must be isolated for everyone's safety. The prison level is the only suitable space. Garrett, wake up. Oh, fuck. I can't move the camera. Don't show him you're scared. Don't let him see you lose control. Baron. I wanted to stop him. I wanted to save myself, but they won't let me wake up. I need the primal out of the girl now, but do not let her die, no matter the cost. You understand the fear, don't you, Garrett? The fear of being trapped, of being used. Quickly! She's corrupting it! See? Oh, I ruin everything. The primal is dangerous! It must be controlled! No! It's no good. I'll take her back down to the prison level. I thought you died. But it was worse. You did steal the primal that night. Now the Baron wants it back. They spoke about the prison level. Looks like I'm going even deeper into this hole.
Now this is something I can Come deal here. with. Come here! Don't mind me. Oh, yeah, duh. That felt good. That felt really good. Maybe I will leave them out here. F is the... Okay, experimental treatment. Fair enough. Seven. Three. Whatever the fuck you are. To find peace. Wow, I haven't found one of these since the first level. The Ivory Circle, a gilded band mounted with a cluster of ivory. Mounted. I don't know why I thought to do that. It reminded me of a thing that happened in an escape room I was in once. It was a medical themed, and at one point you can put on an, uh, what do they call it, a stethoscope, and listen to a specific spot on the wall, and you can hear a heartbeat, and you had to, you had to count the heartbeats because they were sending a message in Morse code. And thankfully there was a uh, Morse code chart on the wall just next to it. But you know, still. The lobotomy room. Adjust gauge of orbitoclast to account for patient skull thickness and overactive imagination is the first sign of madness. I think they said something like that in American McGee's Alice. Or no, more likely Alice Madness Returns, since uh, part of that game took place in the real world. I guess those for if you don't if you don't just go and knock everyone the fuck out. Hydrotherapy. Remember to vary length of submersion for maximum effectiveness. Breathe in water, breathe out light. Oh. 
That's a thing. I just didn't want him to walk out to the front because, let's face it, he's not dead. Where the fuck does this go? Somewhere completely different. Alright, let's just do this and get it over with. Ah! Oh. Oh. Come on, man. I found that secret area like a minute ago. Even though I know taking some of the items are triggers, I can't stop myself from doing it. Once a thief. Always a thief. Shock therapy. Disregard patient distress when completing shock therapy course. A moment of pain can bestow a lifetime of well-being. Do they still do electroshock therapy? Like, is that really a thing in these days? Oh, well, these are just light switches. And the... Oh. No, fuck that. I thought that was going to be an optional area. Oh, nothing good happened down there. But, uh, fortunately, for this video, I don't have to go there yet. Because, uh, I need to do an outro. I'm burning dog face. And I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Thief. When uh, I investigate that place behind the hydro room. And, uh... There. And then uh, descend into hell, apparently. Later.